The Sherpa 4x4 D22 Nissan Navara dual battery snorkel is the newest addition to the Sherpa 4x4 range. This snorkel allows easy fitment to the 2.5 litre Nissan Navaras with factory dual battery systems. While we always recommend a professional fitter to do the install, we figured that we would show you how to correctly do one if you wish to do it yourself. What you will need is the following, an 86mm hole saw, a step drill or multiple drill bits up to 16mm, paintbrush and primer, tape, urethane sealant such as Sikaflex, a pop rivet gun, a Dremel tool can also be incredibly beneficial for this, as well as a small range of essentials such as screwdrivers and sockets. As with all snorkels, you'll need to start by prepping the vehicle. The first step is to remove the secondary battery. To do this, make sure that both batteries are disconnected and you'll need to undo the battery fastener on the second battery. You'll also need to remove the air box and the factory air intake pipes. The next step is to remove the front wheel and inner guard assembly. The inner guard assembly is easy to pull out by undoing the screws around the guard. It is a good idea to note exactly where the screws and clips come from for replacement. Finally, remove the indicator. Place the template on the guard, ensuring that the edges line up with the edges of the panel. It is important to note that the hole in the template is for the new indicator location and not the current one. Tape the template down and mark the holes out with a marker. Use a centre punch and hammer to mark out each drill point. To create a pilot hole, use something like a 4mm drill bit. And then, using either a step drill or a number of drill bits, drill out the holes to 16mm. Next, we need to cut out the hole for the snorkel pipe to enter the guard. To do this, we use an 86mm hole saw. By taping around where we are going to be cutting, it is less likely for the saw to slip or for the paint to chip. Once the hole for the intake pipe is cut, the next step is to cut out the indicator hole. This can be done in a number of ways. We chose to drill around and then use a Dremel tool to clean it up. Once all the holes are drilled, you can fasten the studs into the snorkel. We recommend using a bit of thread lock to ensure that the studs do not come loose. And finally, tighten with an Allen key. Place the snorkel on the car and mark out the location of the upper mounting bracket. Remove the door seal and cut away the edge of the trim. Mark the location for the pop rivets and drill the holes out to match. Once the top bracket is mounted, fit the snorkel to the vehicle. Tighten the bolts starting with the front and work your way to the back. Secure the top of the snorkel to the upper mounting bracket with the bolts provided. Once the snorkel is secure, you can attach the inner guard pipe using the hose clamps on each end. The hard plastic pipe is for in the engine bay and this allows the snorkel to fit along with the factory second battery. Remove the foam from around the end of the airbox and replace it with a urethane sealant. Apply the sealant to both surfaces to allow for a thick seal to be formed. Finally, replace the airbox, battery, inner guard lining and wheel. Attach the air ram head to put the finishing touches on your snorkel. You have now successfully installed your Sherpa 4x4 snorkel. If you have any further questions at all, please do not hesitate to contact us through the website www sherpa4x4.com.au